Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Gorilla and Heels. Today I'm really happy to share with you part 3 of my what to buy in Japan video. Now in the first two videos I uploaded, I received so many wonderful comments from all you viewers and a lot of you have said that those videos have been really helpful. Now Japan is a country where you can really find the most fantastic and high quality products and I'm really happy to share with you 10 more brands and items that you can get in Japan if you're visiting the country anytime soon. The very first brand is this brand called Shiro. Now this is an ethical Japanese brand and they do all sorts of products from skincare to beauty to makeup and fragrance. And what I love about this brand is that it's perfect for sensitive skin. The one that I have is the clear lotion and this is one of their best selling products. The two key ingredients in this lotion is sake kasu and kominuka and it's so great because there's lots of antioxidants. Their sake kasu is sourced from Kobayashi Brewery which is based in Hokkaido and this is a very traditional brewery that has been opened since 1878 so more than 150 years ago. It is an extract from fermented rice which really helps to hydrate and moisturize the skin and it helps to reduce the look of fine lines. Now the second ingredient which is common yoga is rice bran. This is one of the most popular ingredients that you can find in J Beauty. It's super rich in antioxidants, it helps to combat signs of aging and it also helps to strengthen your skin barrier especially against harmful UVA and UVB rays. It really reminds me of SK2 Essence because there is this fermented smell. So if you're not a fan of that, then maybe this is something you want to avoid. I do find that the scent is less strong than SK2 and it's also much more affordable. This bottle costs around 25 to 30 US dollars. I've been applying this on my skin every morning and I really love how it's super gentle. It's really great for people with sensitive skin. It doesn't sting at all. And how I like to use it is to pour a few drops on my fingers and pat it all over my face before I apply my moisturizer, sunblock and then makeup at the start of each day. The second product which I'd like to recommend is this brand called Decorte and this is a luxury Japanese skincare brand. I know SK2 is the other luxury skincare brand which is very known internationally but you definitely need to check this brand out if you have not heard of it already. So the product I'm recommending is the Liposome Advanced Serum and this is not exactly the cheapest, it's 120 USD for a 100ml bottle and the best place to buy it is from the airports in Japan because you get to enjoy immediate tax free. Now, this product was introduced to me by my best friend and she has been using this for a long time and for me each time when my skin is feeling very dehydrated or dry sometimes I have a little bit of dry skin on my nose and my cheeks when I put on my makeup this serum fixes it immediately there are so many good ingredients in this product if you google this you would see that it has won many many beauty awards and it's highly raved and reviewed it has vitamin E ceramides hyaluronic acid NMF and you know all of these moisturizers ingredients that helps to nourish and protect your skin barrier is in this small bottle. So I really cannot recommend it enough. Yes, it's pricey but a small palm goes a long way. The next item is definitely not conventional and it would be Takata Tawashi brushes. Tawashi are traditional brushes that are made using the fibers of windmill palm and for centuries these brushes are used in Japan for cleaning pots, dishes, pans, and even vegetables. It's very long lasting, it's biodegradable, and it's mold resistant. I remember my grandma using something like this to scrub her pots and pans in the kitchen when I was little. Takada's artisans have been only using the best materials harvested from trees from the Wakayama prefecture in Japan. Although it looks very hard, these brushes are actually very soft. There are also brushes where you can use for bathing. It's very gentle to the skin and it helps to exfoliate and invigorize your Skin. There are so many variations of Takata brushes. I'll link their website down below and you can go check it out. They have different brushes for different functions and there's just so, such a wide variety of brushes for you to choose from. The next item is an item that's designed by Sori Yonagi. Now many of you would probably know of this designer. One of his popular designs is a butterfly stool, which is what I have at home. But the product that I would like to recommend is a Sori Yonagi kettle. The kettle was designed in 1994 and is produced in the region of Niigata. The production of this kettle alone is said to involve more than 15 different factories. Each kettle is crafted by hand. Now this kettle won the Good Design Award in Japan in 1998 and continues to be one of Yanagi's best-selling products. Now this kettle is so beautiful, it really looks like a piece of art. 
it's very light and durable. If you look at how it's designed, it has a wide base bottom, which means that it boils water much faster than other kettle brands that you might find in the market. It also has little holes in front, which helps to reduce steam and the heat so that you don't burn yourself when you hold the handle to pour the water. This kettle retails for about 70 to 80 US dollars, and I really think that it looks beautiful in your kitchen. It's extremely functional. The next item would be canvas bags from Ichizawa Shinzaburo. Now these canvas bags look very unassuming, but they are made of extremely high quality. If you go to their website, their motto is staying behind the times, and their craftsmanship and the way that they produce this bag has not changed since 1905. So they've been doing this for more than 100 years, and they have delivered consistent quality of canvas bags year after year. The design philosophy of this brand is that they are not looking to create fancy or dressy bags, but they would like to create a product that an individual can use in their everyday life. If you read the reviews of customers who have purchased these bags, I think they only have good things to say. I read this review online which really warmed my heart. So this customer said, I've used this bag for so many years that I can find things in my bag without looking at my hands. My hands seem to have memorized the position of each item. I can't imagine myself using anything other than this bag. What's also great about this brand is that they are they really focus on after sales and customer service. They want their customers to enjoy the bag as long as possible. So when repairs are necessary, they will do so without destroying the unique feel and look of the bag. Next item is something that I pick up every single trip I go to Japan, and that is dashi stock. These dashi stock packets are so useful. How it comes is it comes in a tea bag like this, and you can just throw it into your pot of boiling water. It's very, very easy to use, and I use this a lot in my meals, so it's perfect for soups, it's perfect for creating stock, it's perfect for creating chawamushi. You can really use it in almost everything, and it's also great for miso soup. You find this in any sort of food hall in the big departmental stores in Japan. They are so much more affordable there. I think it's less than 10 US dollars, and you can get so much variety as well. So it's made of bonito, which is fish stock, and it just makes your food taste really great. There is no MSG, so 100% natural ingredients only. The very next item would be furigake flakes. And again, this is something that I always pick up when I visit Japan. Again, you can find this almost everywhere, not just in the food halls of the Mark stores, but any small shops, you know, selling Japanese snack. So this is really great as rice toppings when you're making Japanese meals, or even just a bowl of plain rice, just sprinkle this on top and it adds great flavor to your food. Again, there's no MSG, it's 100% natural ingredients only. These are not expensive, each bottle is about 5 US dollars and it's just so easy to use. It's just a great one to have in your kitchen. The very next brand or item is Shiseido. This is probably a very well-known brand, but if there's one product I recommend, it would be their cleansing foam. I spoke about this briefly in my Japanese drugstore video. Um, I've been using this since I was 16, but if you would like to find a dupe at a fraction of this price, I would say 10% of this price, I talked about this in my drugstore video, so do check it out. The next item that you absolutely need to get from Japan would be washi tape. The brand that does it best is MT, which is created by a company called Kamoi Kakoshi, which has been creating washi tapes for more than 100 years. There's just so many choices to choose from. They are so pretty. There's so many colors that are available. And the best thing about washi tapes is that they can be torn off and repositioned without harming the surface layer of whatever you're sticking it on. It's perfect for sealing envelopes, gift wrapping, or even pasting notes on your wall because it can be torn off very easily. You can actually find these tapes in Daiso or any type of of stationary stores. And last but not least to be have Uniqlo. I know a lot of people talk about Uniqlo and you probably already know about this brand. But but what I want to highlight is that if you go to the main store in Ginza, there are two things I would recommend. Number one is there are some printed t-shirts that are only unique to Uniqlo Japan and I really love their t-shirts. I think it really makes for very good casual wear. So I picked up this shirt that says matcha on the side and I think it's really cute. And the second thing that you can do is to get your Uniqlo bags or plain t-shirts embroidered. There's a huge variety for you to choose from and you can pay for that service which takes about two hours. I think it's a great souvenir to have and it's also relatively affordable. 
Thank you so much for watching my video. It means so much to me. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I would love to hear from you all and see you all in my next video. Take care and have a great week ahead. Goodbye.